All right, welcome back to another Art of War 3 replay. I'm your host, John Cena, and today we're going to be doing a clan 2v2 battle. I'm going to be the green player, and my ally, Peaky BD, is going to be the blue player. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to be facing off against two pretty strong resistance players. Uh, the yellow player is El Rafe IP. He is a rank 19 medalist, and the red player is a rank 18 player from a pretty strong resistance clan. So, we got some scouting happening around the map, trying to get those early game containers so we can get that base development going. Uh, we can see that Peaky's got a much faster rate of base development than I do. I'm a little bit behind. I just finished uh, teching up to HQ2 right about then. I tell Peaky that we need to do gold boosts for this round because of the opponents we're facing off against. It's going to be a tough battle if we don't otherwise. Peaky's already teching up to HQ3 though, so that's a good sign for us. Meanwhile, I'm trying to put some uh, more infrastructure down while also teching up, and I've got a bunker for defense in case uh, El Rafe tries to rush me with units early on. So Peaky's finished teching up to HQ3, and we can see that uh, Peaky's going to start to produce units shortly. I get a scout on El Rafe, and look at this. El Rafe is going for a defensive building rush here. We've got three sniper towers that have been placed down already and a construction yard. So I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm going to be anticipating some uh, gun towers coming down pretty soon here. And there's the first gun tower. So I don't think I'm going to be able to hold that area for too long. Uh, El Rafe, in the time that I've faced off against them, uh, I've lost pretty much every round. They've been able to outgun me and outproduce me, so I'm going to need to play defensively and hang on for as long as I can. And hopefully on Peaky's end, he'll be able to take care of the red player. So meanwhile, we can see that Peaky is mirroring the strategy that El Rafe is going for. So Peaky's also going for a defensive building rush, so he's already got a rocket tower down and a bunker, and is going to be putting pressure on the red player's sniper towers. Meanwhile, El Rafi's sniper towers are putting down fire on my bunkers. I'm going to lose those bunkers eventually, unless I take care of those sniper towers. So my plan right here is, I'm already HQ3, I'm going to try to go for mass hammers, and hopefully hit El Rafi hard with the mass hammers, uh, before they can go for HQ4, Mass JCP. So, Peaky here dropping down an anti air tower and a rocket tower for uh, continue to press on to the red player. Meanwhile, Peaky is also producing a ground army at the same time. Red is trying to defend and they've placed down some walls and are uh, currently constructing another sniper tower for defense here. Meanwhile, I'm just continuing to crank out hammers as quickly as I can. I'm going to try to get an uh, Avia factory down just so I can mix in some cyclones as needed. There's Rocket Tower now putting on some damage onto the red player. Peaky's going to flag the side entrance to my base there to defend it uh, because he is anticipating that some gun towers are going to come down pretty soon. Uh, in my head at this point, I've already considered this corner to be a lost cause, so I'm going to try to build away as much as I can. So we can see the first gun tower has gone down already, and it's going to clean up my barracks. And it should probably clean up my supply center in short order next, as that is the next closest structure. We got some uh, dragonflies coming in, but uh, for the red player, this is an anticipated move. Uh, Peaky and I have faced off against this red player before in 2v2 combat. And the last time we did, uh, that red player also went for mass dragonflies. So, no surprises here. Uh, Peaky's got a decent ground army here though, so uh, he's got some Typhoon and Heavy Assault mixed in. Uh, so he's going to be able to counter those dragonflies and hold them for now. But Peaky's going to need to make a move soon. I'm moving my hammers in now to support. And we're going to see if we can try to rush the red player here. And my hammers are going to go around the back of the base. We're going to see what kind of damage we can do. We can see now that red is HQ3 and it's two Avia factories down. So we're going to try to take out those Avia factories. My thought with this is that if I can take out those Avia factories and delay Dragonfly production, that's going to buy Kiki enough time to put pressure on the red player and take out the red player. Meanwhile, we see El Rafe putting down another gun tower by my base. So El Rafe is continuing to put pressure on me. 
and so in a way this is kind of turning into a base trade. I'm trying to defend my base and put pressure on red uh, while uh, Peaky is also trying to support me at the same time and push the assault onto the red player's base. So we take out both Evia factories. So right now red does not have any capacity to produce dragonflies. Meanwhile El Rafe is putting down double barracks possibly to absorb damage or produce infantry to feed straight into my base. Those gun towers are doing so much damage to my hammer tanks, I do not have the heavy firepower necessary to take on those gun towers, so I have to be careful with how I micromanage my hammers in that situation. Uh, those dragonflies from the red player continue to try and defend, but peaky has got a pretty solid anti-air defensive line set up. He's got multiple air towers, heavy assault, and typhoons, so... Red's going to have to come up with something besides dragonflies if they want to stay in the game. Meanwhile, I'm here trying to put some fire on those uh, gun towers that are coming down, so just defending my base and just really trying to buy time as much as possible. We can see here that Kiki is slowly but surely winning the engagement on uh, the red player and is slowly advancing on the red player's base. I'm continuing to produce units as quickly as I can. I'm only producing units out of my uh, factories in the back. Uh, I was finding that uh, hammer tanks coming out of the front assault vehicle factory were getting drawn by the gun towers and destroyed. Peaky is continuing to press onto the red player and looks like uh, I'm just continuing to produce units there. Peaky's making some great progress on the red player's base. Red is in big trouble now and El Rafe does not have the ground troops or forces to respond. Here comes El Rafe though, he's got some Jaguars deployed just at the base of the gun towers and they're going to be putting some fire onto my assault vehicle factory there and I'm going to lose the assault vehicle factory in the front. I've still got two more in the back but now my headquarters is possibly within range. Peaky meanwhile putting fire onto the red player's headquarters and infrastructure so not looking good for the red player either. Meanwhile uh, looks like maybe another gun tower possibly coming down for uh, El Rafe. El Rafe is now putting damage onto my headquarters. I gotta protect the headquarters as much as possible otherwise I'm gonna lose my ability to produce units. I'm gonna send my hammers in. Uh, we're gonna see if we can take out these Jaguars. El, El Rafe uh, does a good job in moving the Jaguars back and then re-engaging with my hammers so that they have the coverage of the gun towers. Tiki flags my base and says that he's gonna try and reinforce me with some infantry while his primary ground army continues to demolish Red's base. El Rafe is going to move in now with those Jaguars again. And again, El Rafe is very careful in how he's microing them, getting them close enough to put fire onto my headquarters. Not so close that they're vulnerable to my hammers. My hammers are not able to get close enough to destroy those Jaguars completely. My headquarters goes down. I am in trouble now. I do not have a way to make units right now. And El Rafe is going to go ahead and retreat those Jaguars. Meanwhile, Peaky putting fire down onto the rest of Red's base. And it looks like the Red player is pretty much out of the game at this point. And now it's going to be a 2v1 in this battle arena. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a reserve headquarters with that gold HQ boost. Uh, I don't think this headquarters is going to last too long. But if I can get any kind of units out, that's going to help us uh, with defending. And now El Rafe is moving in his full ground army. You see Jaguars, Porcupines, and Grenadiers moving in. And Peaky's infantry is providing some extra fire support for me. I'm going to be able to clean up those Jaguars that were originally harassing me. But this new army coming in from El Rafe is going to be too much for Peaky and I's defensive forces. And I think I'm going to lose the headquarters a second time here. Let's see if I can hold the headquarters. I'm in danger here. I've only got nine command points worth of units. This is not going to be enough. El Rafe's inside my base here. And let's see what kind of damage he can do now. El Rafe is putting damage on that headquarters. My headquarters gets upgraded to each 2 3 But I'm going to lose the headquarters. And the headquarters goes down. I am once again unable to produce any more units. I've got a couple hammer tanks queued up. But that is not going to be enough. El Rafe is going to go ahead and retreat. Meanwhile, Peaky now making a push onto El Rafe's base, and El Rafe does not have the ground troops to defend. Peaky's got Zeus tanks, torrents, and typhoons mixed together. This is a strong combination from Peaky. And El Rafe only has some infantry and a couple tanks to defend with, so this is not going to be enough. These Zeus tanks now are hitting some vital infrastructure for El Rafe. 
Oh, Rafa is going to need to come up with some kind of response or he's going to be finished. We got a Dragonfly coming in from El Rafe, but that's not going to be enough. The Barracks goes down for El Rafe. Meanwhile, I've been able to put down a construction yard in uh, the side of my base, and I'm going to be able to build my headquarters away from those gun towers. So again, trying to just get myself back into the game, produce some units, and try to contribute just in case Peaky's assault doesn't finish off El Rafe. Here comes more ground troops from Peaky though. We got some infantry and torrents moving in though, so Peaky's doing a good job reinforcing his initial attack and he's going to be able to sustain pressure onto El Rafe. El Rafe's got a couple Jaguars in the base to try and defend. They are going to get crushed by those torrents though. And we can see that there is pretty much no chance whatsoever for El Rafe to make a comeback. El Rafe's pretty much out of units at this point. And there is no way that Piggy is going to let up. We can see that El Rafe was only HQ3 at this point. So they weren't able to have double factories for Jaguar production. And Piggy is just going to continue to clean up the rest of El Rafe's base here. So now Piggy is just putting some fire onto that headquarters. Headquarters is just about finished off though. Headquarters is going to go down and now El Rafe has no way to produce units. You can see from that lightning bolt symbol that El Rafe is also low power though. So those defensive structures uh, that are sitting on the hill though are probably not of any use now at this point. And at this point I've been able to tech back up to HQ2. I'm just building up a ground army. I'm probably not going to need my ground army. Uh, it's just going to be to uh, finish off the buildings on the ledge. We can see that El Rafe though is now using an emergency measures boost. You can see those supply centers are functional. And look at this. Red player actually tried to come back in briefly. Look at that uh, headquarters. We got a couple infrastructure buildings in the back as well. But looks like Red's going to self-destruct. Red knows that this is a lost cause for them. Peaky's now going to finish off these last couple buildings here. We got some supply centers and barracks here. And pretty much good game. We're just going to spend the rest of the time just cleaning up the base and cleaning up these defenses. Alright, hope you all enjoyed this pretty fast-paced uh, action-packed battle against a medalist. Uh, good luck in your battles. We will see you in the next one. Victory.